How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to discuss on how you can turn off and on your iCloud data sync option on your M1 Mac. At the same time, we will talk further about why you should turn on and off your iCloud data sync option on your Mac. Now, if you want to turn off and on, the first place you want to go is your Apple logo. Come down to your system preference and now click on your Apple ID. And now we're going to be talking through the iCloud drive right here. Now, first up, if you want to turn off your iCloud drive, simply go ahead and unmark it right here and now decide whether you want to remove all this information from your iCloud drive in order to free up your storage or not. If you want to free up your storage from your iCloud drive, simply click on the remove from your Mac. And afterward, now everything will be deleted from your iCloud Drive and you will be able to turn off the auto sync of features as well. Now, if you want to turn on the iCloud Drive, it's because you want to sync off your pictures, video, and documentation automatically. Each time you have the new syncs on your M1 Mac, you simply can mark right here. And then what's going to happen, it's going to take automatically. Now, if you want to choose specifically, especially if you want to sync or if you don't want to sync, you can choose this option from here. Now, let's say you don't want to get anything from your MacBook's mail to your iCloud mail. You can simply turn these features off or you can turn the mail option from here. However, if you want to get things automatically be synced with your iCloud account, you can simply mark it over here. It can be your mail or any other application if you want to get the auto synced with your iCloud account. Now, once you've just done that, you can click done and you're good to go. In the same way, you can do the similar work with your other applications, such as your contact, calendar, and reminder, and more. If you won't really get anything important and you want to get a backup, simply mark them up. And if you don't want to see anything important going on for any application, and you simply can unmark it and then you're good to go. So this is how you can turn on and off your auto sync features on your M1 Mac from your iCloud accounts. Hope you find this video useful. If so, drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later.